Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, we visited Boise, Idaho again. This time my wife and I and one of our sons went up there to go to a Jason Mraz concert. Shout out to Jason Mraz, love your music. He's always put on great shows and this is mine and my wife's third time seeing him live. He always brings such a great vibe and energy to his concerts. We love it. Matter of fact, my wife and I went on our first date to a Jason Mraz concert. So his concerts always have special meaning to us. Who knows, maybe one day we'll get to meet Jason at a concert we go to. Shout out again to Jason Mraz, please make that happen. Many of his songs have brought me through some pretty tough times. I lost my first wife to cancer. Going through that loss as well as other losses and other stressful times in my life, his music along with other artists really helped me get through some tough times. While we were there though, we found a donut booth right there at the event. I recognized the name of the place because they were on the list. That's what we call it here at the Donut Sesties, the list of places. I think I need to get a deeper voice. The list. Is that better? Like the name? I do. And just so we're clear, the correct way to pronounce it is mini dope nuts. For those of you who are huge Simpson fans like I am, I recognize that immediately. That's got to be a Simpson reference, and it sure is. I even mentioned that to Stacy. Here's a picture of her. And she commented on how she was impressed that I said it correctly. Now, let me tell you. Their donuts certainly did not disappoint us. Mini Donuts started in 2012. They had no clue how to make donuts, how much to charge, nothing really. Each year their business grew and then fast forward to 2016, they purchased another trailer. They got bigger and better equipment. During the next few years also after 2016, they purchased other businesses and continued to expand their reach. Currently they have multiple trailers, 10 or more donut making machines, really perfect for any size of event that you'd wanna do. Let's go over the donuts we tried. Now the glaze donut, first off, look at the pink glaze. Now I did ask Stacy about the, the glaze. She said, yep, it's just regular glaze, and then they just add a little bit of coloring to it to make it pink, just to go along with the logo and everything. Super good. I thought it was unique that it was pink glaze. Never seen that before with any donut shop before that we visited. The glaze was super good though, super flavorful. They're, they're all cooked even amount of time, really good consistency throughout for all of them. So I gave the same marks for the dough on all of them. Really nice texture to it. Presentation, they just look fantastic. And I just, like I said, I thought that was unique. Final score for the glazed donut is gonna be an A. Next one that we tried was the powdered sugar donuts. The taste was pretty good, although it was less than the glazed donut. So I didn't give as high of a mark, but presentation, they looked great, everything. I gave it an A plus for that one. The next one was the cinnamon sugar donut. A lot of the cinnamon sugar fell right to the bottom of the bag. And the donuts towards the top, weren't as flavorful as the donuts on the bottom. So as we got to the bottom, then of course it was a lot more cinnamon sugary. So overall though, taste was pretty good, but if there's a way to mitigate that somehow, then definitely see if you can do that mini donut nuts. Other than that though, cinnamon sugar donuts were fantastic. A minus will be the final score on this one, which means the final score for mini donuts will be an A minus. Really good donuts. Like I said, if you are looking to find a unique vendor to pop up shop there at one of your events, definitely give mini dope nuts a call so they can come and cater your event. Really good donuts and Stacy was super awesome. She even let me film while they were making donuts. Thanks for letting us talk to you for a little bit Stacy and we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and if there's a donut shop you'd like us to check out in your neck of the woods, go ahead and drop a comment below or email us at dough at donutsnecessities.com.